Hey, what is up guys? Justin here back bringing you a little bit of a team of the week update. I never had a chance to talk about it, so I thought, you know what? I'll throw it into a video. But as you can see, before I talk about that, there are some new special edition items released. That was on Thursday at least. Uh, but that was Daniel Alfredson there. There's also a Jason Truba player of the game with an 87 overall rating. And it said that he was involved in all three goals. Uh, and then there's still the Winter Classic Bergeron that they released, I think, on Tuesday. Uh, so we still got a couple cards here in terms of special items. But let me show you guys the team of the week. But I did pull out 105k out of my ass and there are some special packs out. So we're going to try pulling one of these team of the week items, one of these uh, special edition items and see what we get. But uh, first of all, we're going to show you guys the team of the week update uh, just nice and quickly. Uh, just so you guys can see for the people that haven't seen it at least. But we got Yuri Hoodler, uh, Derek Stepan, and Ryan Callahan. A very solid uh, first line team of the week not bad at all uh, everybody's above 87 overall and you know what Yuri Hoodler is not a bad player for sure uh, pretty offensive mind in terms of his stats 89 88 88 not a bad player to pick up in terms of speed uh, but I'm not gonna talk about too much about Derek Stepan Callahan very good solid players once again I'm not sure their value is gonna be too high uh, just because uh, Derek Stepan usually the team of the weeks don't go for too much same with Ryan Callahan uh, people just don't like using Ryan Callahan in this game uh, and it's just it's just known. Uh, I mean, he's one of the cheapest 87 overalls you can get right now. Uh, but let's move on here to Chris Neal, Gabriel Landesog, and Blake Como. So I know uh, Chris Neal, he's 95 check-in. That's insane. Uh, 86 overall. Not a bad uh, right-wing grinder for you. Uh, then we got Gabriel Landeskog, 89 overall as well. I'm pretty sure he's received a couple Team of the Week items or stuff like that. So uh, Gabriel Landeskog is also up there as well. Pretty sick card. Then Blake Como, I know he scored a couple of goals against the Leafs. I think it was a hat trick, right? Blake Como making it, or he's an 86 overall this uh, week in the Team of the Week. And he's also up on the second line. Then let's go on to the third line here. And most of these guys I don't really exactly know uh, how well they did. But we got Rowe. Polkinen and I think that's Justin Rhino uh, from SHL so I don't know what exactly what team he's on but that is the third line you can pull those guys in silver packs uh, and on the fourth line we got Prince Martel and then I'm going to try to say his name Bjorkstrand you guys can let me know if I said it right in the description or the comment box but uh, this is the team of the week for the offensive lines here but let's go on to the defense here Chris Letang, Yaroslav Halak and Matt Niskanen. Uh, Matt Niskanen I know has uh, received a drop in terms of skating. I remember his skating uh, used to be very, very fast in NHL 14, I think. But uh, they definitely lowered it in NHL 15. But Matt Niskanen, obviously not too bad of a card to have on your team. Uh, then we also got Chris Letang, 90 overall. All the Movember cards have been updated to get a 90 overall. So you have a Chris Letang Movember. Uh, he should be 90 overall right now and should be worth a little bit more, a little bit more change in your pocket if you decide to sell him. Uh, then we got... Uh, Travis Hamannick, I think that's his first name, uh, with 89 checking, 88 defense. I know he's a pretty big boy, two foot, six foot two, two foot two, six foot two, 208 pounds. Uh, and then we got also got Heed. Uh, we got Ricola uh, from uh, the Coughing Medicine, and then we got T.J. Brennan that used to play for the Marlies. So that is basically what the team of the week is. I'm just gonna quickly go into the backup goalie. Uh, section and we got Kari Ramo. That is the card I am giving away for my trade day But that is just about it for the team of the week update So let's go on to open up some of these 35k packs and I don't like I already said I did pull a Mike Medano from one of these just before I just opened up a 35k pack I'll post the picture on the screen right now, but it was a mega pack of desperation That's what I called it and I turned out to pull a uh, Mike Medano with only 911 pucks left if that was a coincidence, I don't exactly know. But, let's get on to this. Three packs should be exactly 105,000. And that's what we have in our puck total right now. So, we're going to see what we get. And this is the first pack. 20 rares, 30 items. And let's see what we get. 629. Oh, jeez. I can't imagine actually spending this much money on packs. But, first pack here. And we get Marty Hansel. Actually, not a bad player. Like, I love using him. Uh, we got Ari Jelena. I know the Leafs just played the New Jersey Devils. Uh, Brennan Saad, Spiza, Conniger, Sneep! Is that the second time I pull a Sneep? What the fuck? I, I guess he just wants to be in my packs. I'm going to say that every single time now. Matt Cullen, uh, we got uh, Jackman, we got Cleesh, and then obviously we got the healing card right on the third slot there, just like always. Uh, not bad consumables, plus 15 duration. Those are what? 3k each? Change Team Ottawa, a couple of players uh, that are just basically quick sell. And we also got a gold contract. 
change team Montreal. Another Soderberg. I pulled so many Soderbergs, but in terms of consumables, not exactly bad. I definitely will hold on to them uh, until like a rare player pack comes out, and those will usually shoot up uh, like the at least 15 game durations will shoot up to at least 4 or 5k. So I'll wait for that, right? Uh, but we got two more packs here, and I'm going to see what we get. Let's just wait a little bit. It's got to be perfect timing for these packs, or else you won't get anything too good. And there we go. There's another pack. This is our second last pack, and we'll see what we get. And, oh, there's well, there's a new team of the week. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I didn't even, uh, I reacted to the Blake Como first, but you guys can see clearly I pulled a Zach Parise. I'm liking that. I'm not exactly liking Blake Como because he did score three goals on us. The Leafs, but whatever, I'll take it for sure. And Zach Parise, a 45k. Definitely made my money back on that pack. Uh, Bo Yu, Fistrick, Nikin Mitchell. Oh, baby. That is a pack I'm talking about. Not too bad. Alex Tongay, actually not a bad player for sure. Uh, I think he should definitely receive a higher overall, but whatever. Alex Tangay in there as well. We got Mark Stull, worth a thousand as well. Look at the players, guys. Corey Con, or that's, uh, sorry, Calvin Dehan. Dehan or something like that. I don't know how to say his last name properly, but not too bad a pack so far. I, I would call that successful. I would just end it right there, but you know what? We have one more pack here like I promised, and maybe I'll do a 17,500 because uh, these packs are basically free after pulling the Mike Medano. Now we pulled Zach Parise. It's definitely worth it, right? But it's all about timing, guys. All about timing. Yeah, I, what I usually like to do, we'll see if it works again, but I like to let that pack purchase go up first and then open it Maybe I'll get lucky again, but it's just su all superstition there. But let next pack here, and we got Kyle Turris. Not exactly horrible, but he's not worth too much. A thousand coins. Uh, we got Morris, Tanev, Kindle, Tochkin, Solzer, McQuaid, Russell. And also, I, I forgot to mention this. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the quality a little bit. Uh, I did increase the quality from 720p uh, to 1080p, so hopefully you guys can see a difference with that. Uh, but you guys let me know in the comments as well. We'll recover four games. Uh, and that is just about it. Cool look off of the back. Uh, not a player that would save us. But uh, all, all in all, you know what? Not horrible. In terms of consumables, in terms of uh, players, we didn't lose out too much. And we're just short a little bit. You know what? I'll end it off with a couple 80s, 750s here. Uh, might as well try and get something good. Maybe the, what, Winter Classic Bergeron. That would be nice to get, right? But uh, next pack here, and Marty Hansel again, oh god. Alright, he just wants to be in my packs. He knows I love him, but uh, Stoner, uh, and a plus 5 all. I'll take the plus 5 all. And usually, when you get a 15 game duration or a plus 5 all in a pack, you know it's good. But, uh, what I want you guys to post in the comments this week is, uh, rate the team of the week out of 10. Like, what, like I said, I think I already said it, but... Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to give this Team of the Week rating just about a 6 or a 7. Nothing too high, nothing too low. What the fuck? Daniel Winnick, why is he not in the Toronto Maple Leafs? But oh well, it doesn't matter. Plus 5 all, goalie plus 5 all, those don't go for too much. But that's going to be the end of this little mega pack opening. This video's dragged on way too long, uh, so I apologize about that. But hopefully you guys still enjoy. Leave it a like if you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. not really worth it. Uh, then we got 35k, Eric Carlson, Brent Burns, and Henrik Sedin. That's a very good deal. I mean, straight up for Carey Price. I mean, Eric Carlson going for around 45k, so getting about 80 with Burns and Henrik Sedin. That definitely adds up to around at least 90. 